Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be checking out the Apex Pro TKL keyboard. I'll be doing a more in-depth look into the software as well as the keyboard in the next few days here and give you a full review. So stay tuned for that. So as of making this video, the keyboard does run for $190. So it's gonna be a little bit more on the expensive slash premium side. So what's included with the keyboard is gonna be, of course, this awesome keyboard, this nice smooth rubberized finished wrist rest, a high quality USB-C to USB-A braided cable that connects the keyboard. There is gonna be no wireless options with this keyboard. And last but not least, an instruction manual that we may or may not need to reference. So first impressions, I'm a big fan of how sleek and clean this thing looks overall. It has a fairly low profile and it doesn't look over the top gamery. I'm a bigger fan of minimalist style keyboards. You can see that everything is black on black, which has this nice clean look and the wrist rest doesn't have too much going on minus the Steel Series logo. In terms of build quality, this thing has a lot of weight. When I do a little bend test, there's really not much bending going on and you could tell that it feels like a nice solid piece of work. If we flip over to the back here, you could see that there is gonna be quite a few grips here as well as extendable legs and this interesting pocket that flips open. If we pop it open, we can see that there is gonna be a keycap puller if you wanna quickly clean your keyboard or do some modding. There are gonna be quite a few media control buttons that you can control with the keyboard. Firstly, you can control the volume by default with this one here, the little knob. And then there's gonna be a shortcut key which you can customize to do whatever you wish via the software. And then there's gonna be a display screen which we'll turn on in a moment here. And then the F9 to F12 keys do different things as well. The F9 has a P icon which lets you switch profiles which can be a great thing if you're playing a specific game and you like specific shortcuts on there. The M key is gonna be macro recording if you wanna record something and then save that as a quick shortcut button. And then the F11 and F12 keys are gonna quickly let you adjust the RGB lights. Now something I really like about this wrist rest is that it does have magnets on the edges over here, which is gonna let you keep the wrist rest connected to the keyboard, which is gonna be really helpful to prevent any sliding around or disconnection between the keyboard and your wrists. Now the keycaps are high quality as well. If we look closely at the keycaps here, you can see that they are concaved, which lets your fingers be placed in there more easily with this arch. And then there is gonna be quite a bit of texture on there, which is gonna help you grip them even more firmly. So this keyboard is gonna be using optical switches, which is not mechanical, but it's not a membrane either. It's a little bit different, but these are using Steel Series' white keys, and these are gonna feel a little bit more like browns, and the browns are gonna be more on the quiet side, very linear, and if you need some privacy and you don't wanna be too loud, then these whites are gonna be perfect. And let's do a quick typing test for y'all to hear what this thing actually sounds like. If you've been getting value out of this video so far, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. So overall, not a bad typing experience. I'm a big fan. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels high quality, especially given the price mark. You kind of expect something high quality and premium. So we got the RGB lights plugged in for the first time and this is what they look like. You can see that they have this nice gradient color that goes from purple to blue, very cool. And these can be customized in the software, but by default, the only thing you can do customization wise on the keyboard are just brightness adjusters. And you do that by pressing the Steel Series key here and pressing F11 or F12. And you don't have to click it, you can also just hold it and that'll adjust it as well. So I'm gonna be spending some more time with the keyboard in the next few days here, and I'm gonna cover the keyboard as well as the software in more detail. Make sure you subscribe for that, and if you are interested in this keyboard, be sure to click the link down in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.